The law of conservation of matter says that matter cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change forms. And you've learned that there's one exception to the law of conservation of matter, nuclear reactions. In nuclear reactions, small bits of matter can be changed into pure energy. This is what powers our sun and all stars, as well as nuclear power plants. Now, there is a second exception to the law of conservation of matter. Me. I was forced to develop a method to violate this law of nature because of my unreasonable life. Here's the story. Not so long ago, right before bed, I was going to get myself a little bit of milk to go with my cookies, and my wife walked through the kitchen and saw what I was doing and said, oh, you can't have any milk tonight. I need it in the morning to go with my cereal, and there's only a little bit left. And I saw, thought about that for a second, thinking, well, why does milk in the morning with cereal take priority over milk in the evening with cookies? So I put the milk back in the refrigerator and thought about this problem. Here's how it works. I waited for my wife to go to bed. I took the milk out of the refrigerator. Even though I knew I was going to finish it off, I poured out the last drop of milk, and instead of throwing it away, I simply put it back in the refrigerator. Now in the morning, you might imagine when my wife came down to have her milk and cereal, she would have been upset to see that I'd finished it off. It was not a problem. She got the milk out of the refrigerator, took it, and poured the last drop into her bowl of cereal, happy that I had left it for her. Then after she left for work, I took the empty jug of milk, put it back in the refrigerator, and that evening, since we hadn't had a chance to get to the grocery store, I was able to have my milk and cookies. Now, although I did violate a basic law of nature, in the scheme of things, it all evens out. Because the water I created with my amazing water producer was destroyed by Stith's amazing water reducer. Because it really doesn't exist. So for this bonus assignment, you have the choice of either making a water producer, or a water reducer, or both. For the water producer, you want to have a container of water and show that you pour it, tip it upside down, pour out the last drop, set it back down, but yet when you pick it back up, even though it looked like you poured out the last drop, there still is water to come out. With the water reducer, you show pouring water into it, but yet when you tip it upside down, the water doesn't come back out. Water producer, water reducer. Good luck and have fun.